So the first thing for chapter 17 that we have to talk about is a concept known as variation. To keep things simple, variation is just the differences between organisms of the same species. As I'm showing you over here, you can appreciate that on the left side, you can see the humans. You can see humans, the homo sapiens, and you can appreciate that the humans have variation or differences in their skin color, hair type. Uh, even if you were to even though the picture is very small, we know that humans show a lot of differences amongst each other, aside from skin color and hair color and, you know, uh, the sex of the person. There's also length of shoulder, size of the hands, uh, the width of the nose. Um, a lot of things can actually be categorized as variation between organisms of the same species. As you can see in the middle, you can see four cats. They are all the same species and they all have different patterns and colors of their fur. The one second from the left that looks like looks quite a lot like my cat socks. But anyway, uh, and uh, the size of the cats can also be slightly different from each other. And on the right side, you can see the different varieties of the rose species, where there's different colors, different size, and also different petal formation as well. Now, all these three examples here show phenotypic variation. What it means by phenotypic variation is there is variation or differences in the phenotype. And in the previous chapter, I told you that phenotype just means the observable features of the organism. But what exactly causes all these many different types of phenotype in the humans or in the cats or in the roses is very, uh, to, to keep things simple, phenotypic variation is produced from genetic variation and sometimes environmental factors. Yes, Environment can also affect our observable features, not in all cases, but in some specific examples as well. So we're going to see some of those.